Well, I finally found my perfect 335. Looks great, plays great, sounds amazing. It is my perfect Gibson. Well, there's just one problem. This is not a Gibson. Now it's always fun to feature a new brand on the channel that I've never played before. Now I've always wanted to play a Heritage, but unfortunately there's just not a lot available in my area. So when this one came up, well, I snapped it up and I've been playing on it for a few weeks. So let's get into it and find out what this guitar is all about. Now for those who are unfamiliar with Heritage, well, they're part of the original Gibson crew. In the mid 80s, Gibson decided to move their factory from Kalamazoo, Michigan down into Nashville. Now some of the guys, well, they didn't want to make the move and they're like well we got the skills we got the knowledge and they bought the original factory so they had all the original you know jigs and tools and everything they needed to make traditional guitars and that's how heritage was birthed so what we have here is the heritage h535 and as you would expect on a guitar like this well maple top maple sides maple back you know tried and true combination for sure some nice subtle flame to the back some nice grain in the maple as well um, but yeah, same thing on the top, some pretty subtle flame to it, but the actual uh, maple grain is quite beautiful. Hopefully that'll show up on camera there. Um, we've got a locking stop to tailpiece there, uh, Seymour Duncan 59 pickups, three-way switch, of course, mahogany neck, beautiful binding along the whole course of the guitar. We'll talk about sort of the, the build quality and uh, what I've experienced with this guitar versus maybe some Gibsons. So we'll talk about that in a second. I think probably the headstock will be, you know, the thing that most people are not as familiar with just because it has a narrower shape, um, which does cause the D and the G not to kind of spread as wide as on a traditional uh, Gibson style headstock, which might mean some better tuning on this. We'll talk about that in a second as well. So those are just kind of the, the rough specs, you know, classic stuff from this guitar. All right, you guys, well, let's plug it in and listen to some of the tones on the H535. <laughs> So now that we've listened to some individual tones, I'm going to jam over a backing track. Link to the track, as always, is in the video description below. It's time for a little bit of a smooth jazz jam. Here we go. Take a listen. Thank you. 
So one of the biggest questions I think people will have is, well, how does this compare to a Gibson? And as you guys know, if you follow the channel, I've owned uh, quite a few Gibsons over the years, and I still have a couple that I kind of weeded through and sort of felt like, you know, I found some that were worth my money. Uh, so anyway, I do have some experience uh, with Gibsons, uh, but this is my very first experience with a Heritage. So just first hands-on feel, one of the first things I noticed was there is no gap or lip on the binding. Almost every single Gibson I've ever played that has binding has a noticeable lip. None of that here. So that's good. Now the second thing uh, I noted is it does have the binding over the fret ends. I'll take some shots for you guys. I've played Gibsons with regular fret ends and uh, styles like this. Um, very, very nice. Other than uh, there was one spot where I saw some filing uh, in between the binding where they just didn't clean that up. There was one spot on the, the entire guitar and it was way up high here. So. Uh, overall, very nice as well. It feels very smooth. The nut, again, is much higher quality than almost any Gibson I've seen, uh, just in terms of the shaping, the slots. Very, very nice. And uh, as we talked about the headstock, um, you know, your D string and your G string are uh, not quite as wide apart, so your strings don't kind of bind in the nut in the same way. Attention to detail, very nice on this guitar. Well, here are my final thoughts on the Heritage H535. Now, given that this was the first Heritage guitar I've ever played, well, it was a great experience. I think it's nicer built than the equivalent Gibson. At least the attention to detail seemed to be very well sorted on this guitar. So really, really nice in terms of the overall, um, you know, fit and finish, um, the playability, the comfort, um, tuning stability was very good. All the details in terms of the fret ends and the nut, really nice as well. Uh, I think the only thing I would love to see on a guitar like this is still like a volute here. It's just a weak spot on traditional guitars. And I know no, not everybody wants a volute there, but because of, you know, the chamber that's routed out for the truss rod adjuster right there, um, these styles of guitars just don't have a lot of uh, material right there. Uh, I get that it is a traditional guitar and, you know, Gibson kind of does the same thing, but I would love to see that on there. Just a little extra peace of mind for guys like me. <laughs> but overall, the design, uh, the tones are classic. You know, the 59s are tried and true. They're great sounding pickups. Um, so yeah, overall, really great experience. Now, in terms of the price, well, of course, I'll link to this guitar in the video description below. It's going to change depending on what country you're from. Um, but there's not a lot of cost savings here over a Gibson. You just need to know that. Um, it's a very expensive high-end guitar um, that competes with Gibson now. So um, it's not like you're going to you know, save $1,000 by getting a Heritage or anything like that. Um, these are still very expensive guitars. Um, but if you like guitars from this era uh, with these tones, with these uh, styling cues and designs, well, this is just a killer guitar. So I hope you guys enjoyed the demo. If there's other brands you'd like to see on the channel that I haven't featured yet, just let me know in the comments section below. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy guitar videos like this, well, click my face right here. And other than that, the rest of my information will be down in the video description below. Uh, the gear I use, tab store, t-shirt store, uh, links to the guitar, all that kind of stuff will be down there. Other than that, have a great day. Take care.